and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. That's right, CB Cubed. I didn't expect you to say that. I, was, I had a whole banter ready. <laughs> well, I like to be unexpected, Ben. Just like the packs. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As per always, up next is going to be spinning the wheel of energy. Can we get the eyeball energy? Is this the lucky week, Ben? Let's find out. It's the week. It's the so. week. It's the week. How could it not be? Okay, but we've been like all season. Oh, but it's not. It is dark teardrop energy, which is kind of a rare one because there's only one darkness energy on the board. So in a way, you're extra lucky. And in another way, we need to change the boards. In, in, in another way, it's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Dark teardrop energy. Really, really a mood if you ask me. Which is always necessary while Jay is back there doing his skateboard thing. When he told me he had this idea for the show, I was like, it's gonna take forever and we're gonna lose all this time. I'm just gonna have to sit there and wait while you do it. And yet, here we are, we did it. We included it in the video. What I love about Dark Teardrop Energy is that Umbreon has its rare chance to be in the middle. It actually is incredibly exciting. Umbreon is awesome, I will admit to that. <laughs> so there's that. Let's play the game! What a great idea. Okay. You got it. We got it. We got it. Got to keep these things safe and sound around Jay. You sure do. I do have a tendency to drop the boxes because I like to throw them around and have fun with them. But then I'm like, Which, what if I damage the cards? It's wildly out of character, I feel like, for you to just throw things about. Not like, least of which valuable packs You're of cards. Right. It's wildly out of character for me to have bad reflexes. I agree. We should also, before we open the first pack, go over today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which will be Venonat, Lantern, and Ponyta. So if you get any of those cards in your pack today, you get an extra point, and anyone who has that dark energy gets the two times multiplier. Set for fun? Set for fun. Excellent. I'm excited. All right. Who's our, our first person? Our first contestant today, Ben, is Chase, Chase. fan of hippos and collecting pins. Oh. Yeah. Chase is coming into the day with three points on the season and is uh, the son of one of our other players, Dola. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a hippo-based <clears throat> mon? Oh, there is. Yeah, Hippowdon. Hippowdon? And Hippopotas. Ooh. Yes, they evolve, one evolves into the other. Wah! Oh, Ben, if only. It if mocks only, us again. It mocks us as ever. There it is. There it is. The fa the <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. What it would be doing to the scoreboard right now. Wow, wow. Chase is really wishing ugh, oh. that we had gotten the, uh, the eyeball energy, but we didn't. In fact, instead he gets a single point for that Keldeo, one of my least favorite Pokemon of all time. That's going to bring Chase's season total to... Four, which I don't think is gonna place him anywhere in any sort of scoring position, unfortunately. But hey, at least he gets this baller Keldeo. It's true, we always talk about the prizes, we always talk about winning, but like you could never disregard the fact that every single pack that we open here on the show does in fact end up in the hands of the people who purchase them from us. That's so, right. Uh, if no, if there's no other prize, at least it's Jay's least favorite Pokemon coming in the mail to you. It's not even holographic. <laughs> Next up is 0 for 12, coming into the season with 5 points, so already ahead of Chase, unfortunately. Ben, yes. would you do the honors? I'll do it indeed. I'll you think you're going to have an eyeball energy? Oh, I almost, I feel like, feel, yeah. feel like for certainly. Um, 5 points is not a bad position to be in. Uh, Big Steve, of course, on the season is currently sitting at a grand total of 8 points. Yeah, so you want to get to that Big Steve uh, winning spot, you need 9. So 0 for 12 is in a position to do that because we have opened the final Big Steve pack of the season. There it is, the eyeball energy. Energy again, again, mocking us as ever. Yep, and then Brandon. I, I feel like I've got like a real attitude coming into today. It's yeah. like, like Brandon. Yeah. 
What are you, Mean Ben? I <laughs> should Mean Ben. Mean ben. Lance. Be prepared. <laughs> it's about to get vicious Pikachu, up in here. Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, Whalmer, Matang, and... and oh, an unknown! That's kind now, of fun. I mean, it's fun. I, it does look maybe like Bulk V, if you had to ask well, me. Well, you know, it's funny because when we first started opening these cards, that was something that, like, like, if I saw anything full art come out, I was like, wow. Wow. It's, it's raining bags of money over here. Basically. Um, let's double let's, check let's it. Let's double check just to be sure, because there's always that possibility of you getting a little bonus point, but not in this particular case, mm -hmm. where it's worth 73 cents, which will round you up to a single point. Single point, which stands 0 for 12 at 6 points on the season, but they do get the awesome uh, Unknown V. So there you go. That's coming your Way. Next up is Sammy, who is actually Sammy. one of our big leaders right now. They are sitting in fourth place overall with 32 points. Very impressive, very impressive. Good, solid scores so far. 25 points on their first pack, seven on their second. So yeah, so they've been doing really well. Really, really consistent player this came season. Came to play. Let's see, maybe we'll get that nice, nice darkness energy, uh, but we didn't. Just regular old triangle energy. Oh, our first uh, scoring a type advantage card of the day. I don't think we've seen a single chase card yet anywhere. The Fionn will not, oh, Fionn does score. It is a rare, and the Incineroar. So that is gonna bring Sammy up to three points on the pack. Golbat. That's, yeah. that's one of those, that's one of those Pokemon that I feel like the, uh, is it the Dark Tunnel? Or uh, is it all tunnels? It is like almost any cave at all in the first two yeah, generations. Yeah, it's, it's just like, it's like, hey, you want a Zubat? How about yeah. a Zubat? Geodude Zubat. Yep. Paris! Occasionally, it, it's almost exciting when you get a Paris because it's it like is. it's like oh rare find or a Clefairy, oh, even more. And Mount Moon, yeah, yeah, you have like that one percent chance, but every now and then it pays off. Now let's see uh, if Anna, our next contestant, can have her pack pay off. Uh, Anna, I want to say, was in the competition for last place last season because I have a ten cent marker on her card, which makes me feel like this is the one we were calculating for ten cents. And I, I'm pretty sure that at ten cents. Total value four packs pulled, uh, lost. Yeah, that I mean, wasn't even last. I think place. it was nine cents was the, the was yeah. the winning one. So anyway, four points on the season so far. So looking for a uh, probably a five point pack if I had to stay here. Although we could also talk about the quality eighth place right now. Can and should eighth place is at twenty one points. But there are, what's interesting is that uh, there are three people sitting at 22 points. So if another person gets 22 and bumps our, our eighth place person out, there is suddenly a four way tie for eighth place. Which is gonna make things real silly real fast. Yeah, so, which, but it is amazing because I think this happened last year with the Big Steve Award, uh, or last season rather, which is that we have ninth place has 20 points. Eighth place scoring position has 21, and then seventh through fifth going up have 22. So it's like that 21 sweet spot is a sweet spot. It is right there. It's uh, very competitive. It would also be interesting. I can't remember right offhand whether or not Grisara has all three packs open because that's another one too. Oh would, yeah, maybe would, they move. Right, right. I want to say we did open Grisara's pack last episode. Okay, okay. Uh, so triangle energy right off the top. Of we got course. a Clang, mm -hmm. incredibly boring. Clay doll. Who would even do it? Worker, you got to be kidding me. Pikachu. What? Like hey, Ponyta scores. Oh, the Ponyta scores. How and very the exciting. And the Venonat. Oh my gosh. Oh, this pack is turning around. It really is very quickly. Dupiter would have scored last week. Uh, the spin dust. Sorry, I was also trying to be. Uh, mean Ben for a yeah, while there, but sure. it can't be because we just got a, a Melodic oh, Trainer nice. Gallery. Very exciting. That's a beautiful card that right is. there. Love the Trainer Gallery and the, the Noivern. Noivern. All right, so exciting. four scoring cards, at least four points. We'll check that Melodic out. Yeah, see if we can get, maybe, maybe it's worth, maybe it's a two-ski. It is a two-ski, in what? fact. $1.32, which will round you up to two, so then we've got three, four, five points on the pack. Which makes nine points on the season for Anna, which puts you in contention Oh my gosh, Anna is gonna be in another dollars and cents battle for the Big Steve Award because they have landed at nine points! Totally, yep, so that makes five people now on the season who are currently in that, that nine point position. Surely some of those still have a pack to open and will bump themselves out of it, but mm -hmm. I know that we have at least a multi-way tie for ninth place at this Boy. point. So it's gonna come down to like the dollars and cents, literally. A Anna likes some drama, that's what I'm learning. Well, All right. They, yeah. Hmm? 
I was gonna say, isn't Anna the one who did something in high school that like? Yeah, she won't say. She won't say. Correct. Yeah. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was this. Maybe this maybe it. she's still in high she's school. Like, she's still in high school. She's like, I signed up for an online game show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not telling. Uh, next up is Manuel Knight coming in with eight points on the season. So another person with a single point pack could land themselves in the Big Steve spot. We're definitely looking for something uh, in that teardrop energy, whether it's dark or standard, because um, Manuel has swam in every ocean, which yeah. is kind of a fun fact. Ready, bam! Oh, oh look at that, the teardrop, the teardrop How about energy. that? The how clay doll hall boring. You should be really upset about clay doll. Yeah, the, the Murkrow Mur scores, I guess. Okay, There's yeah. something there. Rotom mm -hmm. does not. The Slurpuff and does. It looks like something's mm -hmm. peeking out. Yeah. Oh, the Ursaluna V, Big Bear. Big Bear. Big Bear, gotta say. Looks like bulk V to me, I but you never does. know. I can tell you the Ursaluna, I've never seen anyone play it in a deck at all. 62 cents on that one, mm. so unfortunately does not quite crack into that two point uh, bulk V uh. category, but it is still a really cool card, so it congratulations. Isn't. Honestly, unfortunately, they pulled the Murkrow along with this pack because had they not, it would have been a single point pack and they would have been in the dollars and cents race for, uh, for Big Steve. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. All right, next up, Heather Lynn. Now, Heather Lynn, this is her, actually only her second pack on the season is a midway joiner, but she did well on her first pack with 10 points. 10 points, pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty solid pretty for a solid. single pack. So, excited to see, like I always like to say, I feel like the people who score big points tend to con consistently score big points. It's so weird how it works out. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It doesn't make sense at all, but. Yeah. Um, in this case, it does. Teardrop Energy. Of course. One of my faves. Venomoth. Mm. Wallace. Wallace has got some interesting pants. I'm not going to Lantern. Lie. Hey, that's yeah, scores. That scores. Fungus. Sendagast. Relicanth. Halucha. Toga Tomorrow? Yeah, Toga Tomorrow. Oh, look at me go. Solosis and oh, Armaldo. Armaldo. So Armaldo. just two points on the pack, bringing Heather up to 12 on the season with just a really, you know, excellent and beautiful lantern coming their way. You know, that awesome chase card. What is the name of the character in the movie Elf where he's like at the office and he keeps repeating it and he's like, oh, that's a fun name. Oh, every Francisco. Time, Francisco! Yeah. Every time we pull an Armaldo, I'm like, Armaldo. Armaldo. It's fun to say. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Uh, next up is Hannah. Which, whenever I uh, say the word Hannah, I always think of uh, Toy Story when Woody is calling Sid's sister out of his room, out of her room. Oh, Hannah. yeah. Oh, Hannah! Uh, Hannah plays Legends of Arceus with her three year old daughter. Hey! She calls it her Pichu game. Pichu, that's adorable! Man, I was playing some Legends today, you guys. I was having to grind so I can finally film like the finale of the Nuzlocke here on this channel. We are so close. As you all know, we lost our. Big Umbreon in the last episode, and that was real sad. So. What were you thinking? I know, it is wasn't this great. Paying? This is, yeah, this is nice. Rutara, right yeah. there, boom. Oh my, oh, what? How about it's that? as if he knew. It's as if. Wow, there's okay. No, there's no Umbreon we can pull here, huh? I don't think so, but look at this right away, Crocorock scores. I'm feeling good about this pack all, right. all of a two, sudden. Two man. points right there, right? Two points right out of the gate. The Braxian, the Growlithe, the Clank, the Whelmer. Beavis. Armaldo! That's fun to say. And the clink clang. So ultimately. It's a, a six-point pack. It's a six-point right? pack, yeah. which is as many points as they've scored all season. They double their score. Congratulations. Man. 12 points overall for Hannah. Gonna land you somewhere around the middle of the pack. So probably not winning any boxes or anything, but a good, a, a very fun round, if nonetheless. Indeed, yeah. indeed. It's always very exciting. And it means that there's an outside chance that this particular pack will also have feature the dark teardrop. The dark teardrop. Indeed. Now, and this is also, this is Elizabeth on our next contestant here. Um, she likes to sew quilts. And in her last pack, she got 14 points. So. Uh, looking for another big score. And at 15 points, you feel like with a dark teardrop, let's, let's see if it's there. It is. it is. You feel like that eighth place is very possible. Let's see here. So, Slurpuff, Lance, Arkin. Arkin. Smeargle, Litten. So far, nothing. Oh my gosh. Nothing to write home chill. about. Nothing really at all. The even it doesn't even score there. Oh, and the, the Rapidash. Rapid oh, oh, bummer. So just a two point pack after all that. After all that, I know. It felt like that was another one of those situations where it's like you've got someone who's had some competitive play this season, some some striking distance ability, and yet we'll end the season with uh, 17, 17 points. points. Which just puts you in the top 10 at the moment. 
So, there you go. Congratulations. Nice top ten finish. Uh, or, well, you know, more people could bump you out, so. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe Don't I'll, count for, your chickens yet. Right. Yeah. For now. For now, for congratulations. Now. But maybe later. Yeah. Condolences. Next, next up is Jessica O. And you know what, Ben? Back of the box. Wow. You woke up and chase cha chose chaos. I did. I did. Chaos chose. Jessica has a really cool skill that she can skateboard in high heels. What? I know. That's amazing. I'm pretty that impressed. Literally seems like an ankle injury. It does. I personally can't do it, but I can hardly skateboard. That's well, you know, true we too. used to do the boosted boards a lot. That was really fun. We did. We did. Yeah. yeah. We, we had like a, a brief uh, like fame here yeah. in, in downtown Roanoke because we, yeah. we would like roll around. And we'd be those guys on the electric skateboards. We were those guys, you know. There was like a there was like a whole we were like a, we were like a gang basically. We were okay. like a skater gang. We wore helmets and everything. Yeah. Safety you know. first. Now because we went from the back, it's possible we could hit the dark again. We, instead, it's the bright bright firelight. Fireball energy. Let's see. How can we do it? How are we going to do it? Nothing so far. Oh, Sand Isle scores. Benekin Swirlix. Oh, the oh, Fion. Wow. That, that does not even look like star card territory. It really to doesn't. Me. Like that, It's surprising to me that they make like mythical Pokemon on <laughs> cards that aren't holographic. It does, yeah. It's like, it feels a little bit of a slight against their character. It kind of does. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. going on, Pokemon? What do you have against Fion? I don't know, but that's only a four point finish to the season for Jessica. Um, next up we have Jesse. Jesse, okay, Jessie, okay. Coming in with nine points already. So in a weird way, if Jesse gets the V-Star marker and then no other points, they could be looking at a big Steve situation. We'll see. The flip. Bam. Salad energy. Yep. Meow stick. Yep. Gym trainer. Curlia. Vulpix. Drogon oh, scores. Drogon scores. Solosis. Zubat, Zubat scores. Zubat scores. Elgium? Yeah, Elgium. Elgium. Yeah. Okay, Stone Turner. Does that uh, score? That does not no. score. And it's just like a pile of bricks? Yeah, basically. All right. It's kind of like a Stonehenge Pokemon. And a Frostlass. And a Frostlass. So a three point pack. Overall, they're going to bring uh, Jesse to a no, uh, 12 on the season. I can math. So good. Feels like we're due for something. It, it does. Feels, it feels like the pot's heating up pot. for like a, like a quality alt art, a yeah. rare trainer gallery, a rainbow, a gold. Something something has got to be coming soon because so far this box is letting me down a little and, bit. Yeah, it is. It's just, you know? it's just a tad bit disappointing. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. We're going back to the front. Okay. Okay. For, Why not? Um, Why not? Tempest Blade here, who's coming with five points. Okay. This is our um, lion aficionado, Luxray, Pyroar, Entei. Okay. They're okay. up on their list. Let's see if they can uh, do some scoring here. We also haven't had the uh, <laughs> the dreaded V Star marker either. Not at all. So this this box feels like it is full of crazy potential still yeah, yeah. still to come. Waylord, I'm presently building a gym leader challenge deck around that card. The clink, the vault, of Ben. This oh, the oh, double sunkern. Oh, man, that should be a negative point right there. And Bam! So, uh, the forest seal stone. I don't. I think it's the. It's the other seal. The stone. other seal stone that gets you the double points. Yeah, there's there's a couple of cards that are not like full arts. Forest seal stone. Is that what this is? This is forest. Yeah. Oh, this is the forest seal stone. Oh, this is um, the one. This is the one. Two dollars ninety cents. Well, well, well. So it's a three point card. It is a three-point card. My goodness. Oh, we should have had more excitement over that. Ethan, totally rewind us and, and, and re-edit us with total excitement. I'm going back to the front. Why not? Tempest Blade here. Oh, the oh. double Sunkern. Oh, man. That should be a negative point right there. And Bam! So Whoa! Wow! The Forest Steel Stone! The Forest Steel Stone! Oh my gosh! Wow. Which actually is very good. Is this the one? Yeah, yeah. This is a very good card. I was like, are you gonna yeah. give me I'm like, how, why did I not think it? Because there's a new one in Crown Zine that's called the Sky Seal Stone, which is like really hard to pull. Like the pull rates are very low on it, but it's a very good card. Um, anyway, next up we have Abby, who has a five week old and a five year old mm -hmm. as of um, October. So. So now they're older. O older. Older, so. for sure. All right, let's see. They're coming with four points on the season, so they want like a five-point pack. I'm five, thinking. Five-point pack. That's okay. Right. Yeah, let's, let's we always we gotta know up. what everyone is looking for. You know, everybody's everyone on their has own a chance journey. To win. Okay. All right. The lightning energy. The Honcho the scores hon right out of the gate. Yep. Nine tails. Leafy came up. Poncho. Dratini. Clink. Stunfisk. Togo tomorrow. Esper. Spinda. Oh, and Miss, Miss Magus. Wow, okay, so just a two point pack at the end of the day. Not the five points they were looking for. Going to bring them to six on the season for Abby. Thanks for playing. Is it bide? The attack bide where it's like their energy rose after each? 
each turn. Bide um, is like you you just sit there for two turns and take damage, and then after that you deal out as much as you took. You want to know what we're doing Or right double now? it. We're yeah. biding our time. We're, we're biding. Yeah. We're, so bi- we're, we're like Onyx. We're Onyx right now. In yeah. gym, in the first gym. We're like Brock's Onyx right now. All right. Next up, it's Simon Perchert. Perchert. Can Simon be the one to break the bide? The one. The bide breaker? The very best that no one today was. Yeah, no one, no one today has been a big winner just yet. Just yet. But just that doesn't mean, I mean, it feels like it's got to be in there. There's something. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, at the very least, we did break something. We and did. that is the V-Star marker. So uh, we're going to start going now down here. Dun, 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 the canned ice, Relicanth, Halucha, Togunamaru, Petlil, Pikachu, another t- double Togunamaru, and the Zara Aura. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be a big old goose egg, my friend. That is. I How am about un- that? Bo- unfortunate. There we go. We're going to end the season at five. You get the Zara Oro and the double token of Maru, though, so enjoy that. I hope that's one of your favorite Pokemon. It is now. Yeah, it is now. People will be like, why is that your favorite? And be like, well, let me pull up a, a YouTube video and show you. Let me show you. Let this is how it you. came to be. I have a unique story. Token of is at least like the Pikachu Pokemon of um, that generation. Okay. Like each gen has like another, po- like they always have like an electric mouse Pokemon to uh, like theme around Pikachu. So it is Token of Okay. One of the main characters on the show, Sophocles. That's like his partner Pokemon. I hate Sophocles. He's my least favorite character. Wow. Yeah. Not not strong yeah. opinions. Strong, strong opinions things. about the Alola region. Okay. Who's up next? Next up, we have Dalton Green. Dalton Green. Let's, Let's see. see Dalton has ten points on the season so far. Wow. Minus one right there. Uh oh. Wow. Two packs in a row. Two packs in a row. Okay. Man. Braxian. 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 Yeah. Uh, Sigliff. Yep, yep, yeah, you got it. Okay, Golbat, Swirlix, Rotom. Elgium. I don't like that I know, one. it's one of my least favorite Pokemon. Dreepy, Petalil, Ralts. Ralts! And, oh, something's Uh-oh. speaking out. you got something's something? We something. gotta, Let's just, oh, just, just take a look at that silver glimmer. shimmer. Okay, ready, and. Oh, the Regidrago V-Star! How fun! What a that good, that's really like cool. one of the, like, featured on the artwork of the box. Awesome. All right, so let's okay. see. Everyone, what's interesting is the, the price could be pretty good on this because everyone was really hype on this card coming into this release. Like, is it going to be really good? Will it be as good as Lugia? Uh, turns out, no. Not even close. But the hype was real, which means the price could be high. It comes in at a whopping $3 even. Oh, three even. So you need one, one, one cent, cent would have gotten you another point. An extra that's point. Be Three minus the V star, so just two. So uh, uh, a really oh, no. our, our first fun pull of the day yeah. uh, yields a, a, a grand total of two whole points. Yeah, I will say that if you uh, the the good news is whether or not it's like hyper hyper competitive, the Reggie Drago deck is really fun because Reggie Drago can copy the attack of any uh, dragon Pokemon in your discard pile, so you can pull off attacks that are otherwise really hard to pull off. Anyway. Anyway. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Next up we have Smubbles. Smubbles, who I feel like is in potential contention. Oh, for last place? Possibly with Uh with a grand total of two points. Indeed. So yeah, they're down there. They're down there. Yeah, Yeah, right down there at the bottom. It is is worth mentioning that we do have a rule uh, during our... Uh, three pack seasons that you need to have at least opened two in order to qualify for last place. Well, that's so. not going to be a problem for small bulls because so far they've put up two points and then a zero. So they're almost really looking for that repeat zero. So far, so good. Well, I mean, no, you can't get zero. Right. I'm sorry. You need the you need the B star marker. That would have been pretty impressive to get three in a row though. So Gumaro, the Sandile scores, the Zara Aura scores, and, and the, the Amunga, Amunga scores. scores. Ma'am, so that's going to be a three point pack for you. That's going to bring you to five points on the season for Smubbles. Feels like that brings you out of last place range, unfortunately. Yeah, you're you're all the way up and at very best place right now, about 70 seconds. Wow. Yeah, um, you're going to want to be way lower than that if you're trying to win, you know? So, seriously. So maybe maybe next season you'll come yeah. to play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, uh, another person that's potentially competing for last place is CK Hoof Talk. They've only got one point on the season. CK Hoof Talk. CK Where's Hoof Talk. So let's see, Ben. Can you find them another V-Star marker? We'll see. Or just a single point. As a single point. Yeah. We'll see what we can do here. Anything is possible. Okay. Okay. Bam. Okay, no so V-star no V-star marker. marker. With the flip. Okay, Rock oh, is Rock, pummeling. Is that the first Rock is pummeling we've seen today? I believe it might be. Wow. Duosion? Duosion. Yeah. 
V-Guard Energy. Got that one. Hypno, Emolga, Meditite. Yeah. Durant Durant, Ralts, Fletchling, Melodic. A boring Melodic. But that does score one. Oh, and, and the Lilligant. Lilligant. There we go. So that's going to be a two point pack for three. Closer to last place than uh, Smubbles was, but three still probably brings you out. It's hard to say. It's pretty competitive. There's There are a good number, I think, let's see here, like maybe... Ariel Stormborn we've already opened four okay. for her last pack, and she's at two points. Two points, okay. So okay. That is the, that's basically the number to tie or beat at uh, if you're going for last place. Okay, okay. Yeah, we know that. So you need a, at least two. At, at least, least two. Yes, at most two, at, yeah. I should say. Yeah, uh, next up is Enselman, who is coming in with 14 points. So they're maybe looking for like the quality eighth place at this point. You know, they want like the, like a five or six point pack. Uh, yes, let me get those, that number to be exact. Yeah. yeah eighth place is currently 20, 21. And okay. how many points total do they have? 14? 14. So seven would put you in, in strong contention. Rock is pummeling energy Rock is right pummeling off the top. energy, you love to see it. The Matang, the Anorith, the Salosa, Zubat scores, Elgium, Sandy Gas, the Waylord, Waylord and, and the, the Delphox. Del okay, so just a two point pack. That is going to bring them to 16 on the season for Enselman. Uh, owns three Shiny Paris and two Shiny Paris decks in Legends Arceus, so. Uh, we know they're good at finding the good stuff. The, uh, kind of a cool accolade for what it's worth with 16 points does tie you with Bryolive, who currently has 16 points on the season in 10th place. So you're at least tied for 10th. There you go. Right? Top yeah. 10 finish? Top 10 finish. Not bad. Right. As long as nobody scores a no, yeah, no, But no, top 10 you down. for now. For now. Uh, next up is Josh, who's got six points coming to the day. So they're a contention for Big Steve and or first place, and no, I don't think first place is even possible. Maybe, who knows? Um, and or quality eighth place. Wait, are we talking about a first place finish, which is currently at 239 points well, held by- they, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but they probably need like the dark teardrop and the alt art Lugia. So, you know, this box has been fairly light on the excitement thus far. So it has, it has it been. It could be holding back for something huge. Okay, well, this is not exactly a great start. We yeah. really needed that dark teardrop to put ourselves into contention for first place. Yeah. We got Candice, Croc... 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 Yep. Gamp, the Krogon Krogon scores, Fletching, Swab Blue, V Guard Energy, and Ariados. Ariados. Man, we've had very few of our chase cards showing up today, like it's true. at all. Yeah, where where are also three points on that pack? Where are all the Venonats, Lanterns, and Ponytops? Yeah, right. Don't know. Hopefully, we haven't missed any. I, yeah, I don't know. That's okay. Ethan's gonna be like, you guys got to rescore like five packs. Right. Yeah. 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 It's You've like... been missing cards left and right. Hopefully not. Um, man, because I, I I feel like this. I mean, we've had the Reggie Drago V Star, but that's probably the best pull today. Yeah, think yeah. so. It, it seems like you would be bound to get at least one card closer to ten. Yeah, at least one. At least you'd think, but you know what? Sometimes this is just how the packs open. Right. Right now we've got Brant coming <coughs> in. He's got five points on the season. How are we gonna do, Brant? How are we gonna do? Oh, the fireball energy. I guess we could have seen that coming. Uh, we have the V-Guard energy. A lot of energy in this pack. The Dew Pider, the Medita the Mennonite scores, yeah, there you go. the Marini scores, the Guard of War, the Trainer Gallery of Guard of War. This is going to be very good in the near future. Uh, and another the Guard, Guard of, of War. Wow, Man, it's the same card. That is very interesting. And look, you even got the Rolfs to help you evolve into it if you care to play it at some point. That's kind of fun. That is. So four scoring cards, at least four points. This one might be worth more. I feel like we've seen that one already open in this season. The Gardevoir is going to be worth a dollar twenty-two, so it does round you up to an extra point. Okay, so it's five total for ten on the season. There you go. Well, that's pretty fun. You got the double Guardy. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. And I, again, I always love those trainer gallery cards. I feel like they they really like just go all out oh on making gosh. those really fun. I and know. Pretty. I'm very excited uh, for the Crown Zenith season, and then moving forward into Scarlet and Violet, there'll be three foil cards in every pack, guaranteed. That's just part of Pokemon's new position. So I think things are going to get wild scoring wise. I, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We do next. Uh, month. We have a one month season, so it's going to be like a one shot. You have yeah. one card, all the points, so like from day one, we're going to be able to start determining, like yeah. we'll open like Big Steve really early, so like yeah. we know like so where the know. Big Steve spot's going to be. Um, <clears throat> but I do feel like that's going to be so much fun because right away, you're like right in the thick of oh, it. Oh, you're right so. in the thick of it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's going to be, going to be real good. Um, next up we have B. Grimm. Is B. Grimm a former champion? 
Is that a thing? I think I so. I think V Grim has been very competitive. It may have been like during our test season. It might have been, yeah. Yeah, because it looks like it looks like during season two scored a grand total of twelve points, I believe. Yeah, and is only sitting at five so far. So let's see how she does with today's pack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One two, uh -oh. uh oh. The dreaded V Star marker. All right, the Araquanid is in there, the Ferrothorn, the Durant, Durant, and Mo. Uh oh, I'm not, Ben, I'm not loving how it's go. Oh no! Wow, B Grim, we had high hopes for you, but that's a big goose egg right there. That's gonna be zero Ooh. point pack for five on the season. Man. Man. That's a bit of a bummer. It's, a, it's a hard to see him go out that way. It is, it is hard to see it. It's hard to see it. However, <laughs> uh, fun fun card still headed in your direction, so no be doubt. sure to keep your eyes on the mail. We'll get them shipped right on out. That's right. Next up we got Zach. Zach! Zach with six points. Zach Attack! Zach Attack with six points. Currently teaching 51 people piano or guitar every I'm week. Gonna, I'm gonna try to predict that I think that Zach will clear 10 points. Yeah? Yeah, that's that's my prediction here. 51 people means they're doing more than 10 a day. That's, that's very a Very impressive. <clears throat> that is very impressive. Okay, Zach, let's see what we can do. Eyeball Energy, one of the all-time faves. Yeah. Uh, Arkin, Serena, Regenerative Energy, Drowsy, Growlithe, Mischievous, Whalmer, Murkrow scores, scores Chinchow, Chinchow not. And uh, oh, a second Ursaluna? Wow. What nonsense is this? Wow, wow, wow. Box, wow. what are you doing to us? I know we checked this. I just want to double, double check. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's 62 cents on the Ursaluna. So. Well, we're coming in at eight on the season for Zach Attack there. My prediction was wrong. I, I, thought, wrong. I thought you had 10 in you. I was sure of it, but maybe next season. Maybe next season. The single season. Or, I mean, the points are just going to be wild on that one. All right, next up is... Veiva, uh, who cross stitches for fun. Hey, That's fun. opposed to people who cross stitch for not fun. For not fun, some people cross stitch for um, spite, and that you don't want to mess with those people. Oh, yeah, no, no, That's da bad, dangerous. Yeah, all right, I'm going from the back. I'm going from the back. Wow. Yeah. yeah I don't even yeah. know you anymore. Veiva's coming in with three points so far on the season. Let's see how she does. On the day. One, two, no V-Star marker, so maybe the back was nice. Oh, the rock is pummeling energy. Mm. It's a fun it's a fun one to pull, but not scoring any points today. Durant, Durant. The emergency jelly. Always a fun card. The Metatite and BAM! The Braviary. Braviary. Wow. wow. Okay, so coming in with just a single point then. We're gonna bring their total on the season to four. Well, you can uh Maybe you can cross stitch a braviary. I feel like I feel like fun. we we need like some type of uh, some type of way like where you and I get punished if we don't pull enough points far enough <laughs> into a into a, a, a into an, an episode. episode. People are like, all right, guys, like, you either need to pull some rare cards or be like, you know, yeah. dancing in a penguin costume or something. So like, we, yeah. we, we like need if some. We have, if we didn't award like seventy points an episode or something. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Uh, and like like if the like, game is working against us, I like, know. we're trying to score. I know, like, like we're now we're in it too. Yeah, that feels yeah, like something. It does feel like something. Okay, I'm down. Okay, I think it's your turn to open, right? Okay, I'm doing it. For I'm doing Andy, it. our next contestant, who has three points on the season so far. This is our uh, our uh, big time duck pin bowler. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's competing see. Competing in can... tournaments, very competitive. And boom, boom. We have, have we just had the two darkness energies today? I believe so. The Curlia, Glalie, Whalmer, Growlithe, Dratini, Chinchow, Esper. Ooh, oh! Oh, Trainer Gallery Blissey! That's what's up. Okay, that, that might fun. be. That and fun. the Zygarde. Zygarde. So okay. let's check on that Blissey, see how that's doing. All right, let's see. Trainer Gallery number 22 on the score sheet is going to be worth $10.27. We'll Whoa. round up to 11 points. Plus the Zygarde will be 12 on the pack. Very impressive. That's oh. what we needed. 12 on the pack is going to bring them to 15 on the season. Oh, man. So really, like, good, strong positioning. Current tie for, like, the 12th, 13th position. Mm -hmm. um, so good good season overall. Good season overall. And you get the Blissey, which has gone up and down in terms of its competitability or competitiveness over um, its lifespan in the format. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. The kid will come back, and it'll go away. It comes back, it goes away. It's craziness. Right, oh, Ben, we have our first candidate for Rookie of the Day. Rookie of the Day? It's Jess. It's Jess. I can smell the Olive Garden breadsticks from here. Can't you? Can't you? 
They are a hobby aquarist and road cyclist. Wow, so, this seems like somebody we would just get along with. Do we know you? Right, right. Jess? Jess? Jess, um, whoever you are. I, I am I am uh, uh, an aquarist. Yeah. And also, I mountain bike, mountain so, bike, so, you know. You know I like, I, I like off-roading. <laughs> oh, the uh, teardrop, teardrop energy. energy, followed by the Palo San Toxicroquel score. The Rotom, the Dreepy, the Vulpix. The, oh, man. Again, Honcho scores. Oh, there is something. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh! No way! We have been talking about it all season! <gasps> the Alt Art Lugia V. There it is. It happened I, twice. It We've happened. pulled two. We've pulled Where's a sleeve? two. Where's the sleeve? sleeve? Now, I am. I can't believe it. This has got to be Rookie of the Year, Ben. We might need to give an extra $5 on the Olive Garden gift card. Goodness, Goodness me. I was not expecting it at all. This box has been such a dud. We don't have to dance in the penguin suit. Oh my god. Goodness. Okay, this there is. You go. So I will tell you guys that uh, prior to starting this particular show, Jay and I have probably opened in the proximity, I would say, fifty booster boxes. Yeah, we've opened um, a lot over the course of like uh, the the various seasons of the the game and everything. Yeah. Um, in I think only on one occasion ever have we actually pulled the rarest card from a set. I think so. For Astral Radiance, we pulled the Alt Art Giratina V. Yes. 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 Um, now, inside of this season, we have pulled the rarest and most valuable card twice. Two times. Oh my gosh, what is, Ben, let's check, what does, the, how does this score? Let's see here, so 186, God, can you imagine if they had had the freaking Dark Teen Drop? Not. 186 on the set, let's double check what's going on here. Uh, $228.63. 200, so 229 total points, 229 right? total points. 229, now this is, this is someone now, <laughs> Jesse of course only gets one pack to score the whole season and they did about as good as they could. I'm sorry, it's not even 229 because they get plus two from these two as well. So it's plus two equals 231 points on the season. That's not enough to beat Brooke though. This is, this is, Brooke you know has been, it was just quaking in her uh, seat, like, oh my gosh. This is why even pulling the big one, this is why you need all three packs, because this is as good as you could do without like the darkness energy, that would've been insane. Um, I can't believe it. I can't I'm believe like, it either. I, am, I, like, I mean, uh, this is like, this right here is why doing this game, this show, yeah. is so fun. It because is so it's fun. Like, it's like, you're always waiting. You're going through all of those like, like slightly less thrilling packs. Yeah. There's always that potential energy, but it's like, I can't believe we pulled it twice. That's that's wow. a grand total of like $460 worth of cards yeah. across two, two people. packs. Yeah. So that is insane. Anyway, well, we'll Bravo Jess, Rookie of the Year, it has to be said it, so far. It has to be said, Rookie <coughs> of the Year award, absolutely, very impressive. Um, congratulations, Boy, that, that Wish is... I could pull this card, I'll tell you what. Honestly, it is, yes. It's, it's like, it's so painful to think that we've had it twice. <laughs> we've, yeah, it's been it's been sitting in our office with us, just place. hiding in a sleeve. That's okay, we'll get it someday. There you go. Maybe. All right, next up uh, is Sydney Steele. Coming in, uh, in uh, they had less good rookie outing. They got a single point. Okay, okay. So, so like, I mean, close. Sydney Steele, though, th this is only their second pack of the season and last one. So it is, they do qualify for the last place contention. Yep. But uh, if they get like a V star marker or something here, they could go down to, they could go, they could. They can't. Slide in, they can't, yeah. no, so they have at least that. So they're getting at least one point. They're getting at least one point. The other yeah. fun fact about uh, Sydney is that they're currently, uh, she is currently training for a marathon, oh, which man. also, same here. Right there, I've been one ah, for a run today. I did, I did over lunch. Leafy Camo Poncho, Slur Pluff, Lance, Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Howlucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, Radiant, Radiant Serena. Serena. Heyo. Very cool looking card. And, and the Melodic. And the Melodic. So it is gonna be a two point pack, bringing you up to three on the season. So, so close right there. They're down to those last two cards, but I think that will knock you out of last place contention. Sydney. Man, I'm still reeling on the Lugia V, Ben. I know, I know. Just, I'm on a high right now. I'm, I'm on like, a high. Wow. All right, here we go. Heartbeat. Well, Ben, 
Heartbeat is new to the game. This is uh, his rookie debut as well, and he picked a bad day to do it. I have to, it has to well, be said. Well, I, I, I hope I hope that secretly you were like, I don't even like Olive Garden. I don't even like Olive Garden because you know what? Unless this is the best box of cards that has ever existed, I don't think it's happening for you, man. It might it might not for at least for rookie of the uh, rookie of the day and first place awards. Uh, yeah. Also, probably second place award, uh, awesome. which isn't an award, but it is a place you can score. Yeah. So yeah, you, you could you could rank there. We have the lightning energy. Oh, the more Pekka. That's the first one we've seen all day. The Murkrow. So we're getting okay, some points some there. The Sunker, the Fampy, Brandon, and Metagross. So that's going to be a solid three point pack. Not too bad. Not exactly two hundred and thirty one points on your first pack ever. But hey, that's you know one and a. Look, well, what, not a million. We haven't opened that many. But. What is comparison other than the thief of happiness? Exactly. Right? Don't compare yourself to the Lugia V. <laughs> it's only like because it's not good too. It's not good because it, it is the superior card. It is the superior card, not just in rarity, but also it has been dominating the competitive scene for months and months. No one knows when the season will be over. Anyway, next up is Bubsy, another rookie, Ben. We're Bubsy. into that section I think, here. I think we are in the section. We're going to need to ask Kat, who uh, organizes our cards for us, to, yeah. to shuffle them in, because I see at least some oh, other... there's a few more rookies coming in here. Okay, yeah. so, I mean, okay. people people like were like, they were shuffling, you know? They were like, hey, it seems like a good a good day to get in on that rookie of the year award, and little did they know. But this is this is this should be encouragement to sign up because you need but one pack to go big. One one pack. One pack. Ben, can you pull? Can you open for Bubsy here? I'm doing it. All right. All right, Bubsy. What you got? What have we here? What has we here? Is indeed. I still can't believe it. Dude, I'm. Tw I can't believe it happened twice. It's like catching lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right. Bubsy coming out swinging though with that dark uh, teardrop. All right, and the gold bat scores. That's worth All right, too, right yeah. away. Yeah. 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 The Bulbix, the Drowsy, the, the Growlithe, the, the Mischievous, the Phoebus, and, and the, the Big Teeny. So, so that's going to be what? Two times two is four. Four points. Four points overall. There we go. Back Solid. in the day, we used to think that was competitive for Rookie of the Day. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is, but uh, today it is not, um, unfortunately. It's crazy to me that they're going to have pulled the Alt Art Lugia and not they're not going to you know, walk away champion. I know. It would know? have been unbelievable if it happened sooner in the season, and we had known that two people this whole time, and it was like, what's going to happen between Brooke and... I know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, if it had happened like in the first month, oh my gosh, that would have been wild. Then next up, we have yet another rookie coming in. It is Jacob Worganis. <laughs> Jacob! Jacob Borgenus, yeah. Let's see how they do. Can they pull off an, uh, a, a nice solid performance here? Uh, I'm not really sure what they're looking for. Maybe just like a good solid like nine points, I you think, know, is maybe their best bet. Let's see, so 21 points, it would get you the quality eighth place award. Well, that's going to have been bumped down by our, uh, our other rookie. Oh, this is true, this is true. Let's see. Toxapex scores, Professor Laventon, Drowsy, Spinarak, a lot of eyeball, and the Articuno oh. right there. So going to be a three-point pack overall for Jacob. Yeah, sorry, who was our, who's our big winner? Um, Jess. 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 It's Jess. Um, no, what I was going to say, though, is I do believe that there's like a handful of cards, for example, like... Um, like the the friends in Galar. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna like call my shot here. So the t the trainer gallery number twenty three is worth twenty two dollars and sixty nine cents. Just as like a just as like a randomly chosen uh, no extra points chase card. Yeah. For us to have just that would put somebody in like a really unique position overall. All right. Well, let's see. Maybe it'll be Vicky to get friends in Galar. They are another rookie okay. coming in today. Man, it, I didn't realize we were going to be writing the, the the pack, the hunt for the Olive Garden gift card. Not that we are, but imagine what imagine what the competition could have looked like. I know, I know. Let's see here. Here we so. go. Friends and Galar, come on. All right. With salad the, energy. Salad energy. You can get that for the Olive Garden. Haunch Crow, Nine Tails, Crow Gunk, Solosis. Look at this. Bat. Look at this. What is Mickey doing? Ooh. Whoa, the Malamar and, and the, the Archaeops. That one might be worth extra. We should check that. Okay, we'll definitely check the Archaeops. Okay. This is uh, Lugia's best friend who is also ruining people's day left okay. and right. 
Well, let's check number 147. And okay, it is worth mentioning that as of us printing this particular document, all the prices were frozen at that time. So uh, at the time of printing, Archaeops was only worth 75 cents. So, okay, so it might be something now, but the, the way we do it, the way we play this game is when we print out the document, whatever they are that day, that's what they'll be for the whole season. Right. So. Uh, trainer Gallery number six of the Malamar is only worth 67 cents as well. Oh, so, so just uh, a five point pack. Yeah, so a so co couple of cool cards in there, but still only everything's only worth one point apiece. I'll Good job, though, on using that Dark Gear Drop to your fullest advantage. I'll tell you what, for all of the other Trainer Gallery cards they have been churning out over there, they have not done an Archaeops yet. There is no, like, alt art of that. Interesting. I know, you'd really think they would have uh, pumped it up at this point, but they haven't. Uh, next up is Matt Cox, who I think is coming in. I should double check. I can't. I think just with eight points on the season. Let's double check here. No, Matt Cox has 16. Okay, never mind. 16 points. Okay, so Matt yeah. Cox currently sitting in, well, at least as of today, coming into the day, was in 11th spot overall, but has also pulled eight points two twice. times. Yeah. yeah. So the question is, can it happen again? Can it happen again? Can lightning strike twice? We know it can. Wait. Can it strike three times? Eight points, three in a row? There should be like a bonus for that. If you get the same score three times in a row. At some point in time, we're gonna need like a manual. I know. Gonna be like, like they a... can't remember all the rules they came up with and the various gift cards that go out for what things. <laughs> <laughs> the first egg girl, the low putty, the smear girl. Oh, there is something in this one. Okay. The chin chow. We, seriously though, like one Venonat, one Ponyton Lantern, I think. Radiant Akazam okay. and the Magirna V, which looks bulk V. But we'll check it. Okay, we'll check it. We'll check it. Number 128 on the set. We'll give it a look. It's always interesting the things that, that can cause a card to be worth more or less. 128 is worth 69 cents. So there you it just go. rounds up to a single point. But bam. But you get the Radiant Alakazam as well. Which is pretty fun. Yes. It actually reminds me a lot of the original like base set Alakazam. And yeah. I, that always makes me think that that card is like extra specially cool. Yeah. I love the base set Alakazam. All right, next up we have Austin Johnson. Austin Johnson, who's Austin got Johnson. only uh, a single point at single the moment. Point. So is sitting pretty far down. So yeah. you'd love to see, um, and I'm gonna pick from the middle just so Ooh. we can go extra randomness yeah, here. Yeah, you'd love to see the V-Star marker here yeah. for Austin. This would be this would be a great spot for Austin to be in to get in that last place spot, but you never do know How's what will come. Go? Let's see here, so one, two, three, four, to the front with the <gasps> flip. Bam, fireball okay. energy. Okay. It's, it's, okay. What, it's, it's what they need. Unidentified Fossil, Glalie, Candice, Esper, Dreepy, Durant Durant, Dratini, Beldum. Oh, oh, the Ponytail scores. The Ponytail does score and, and the, the Clang Clang. So, so that two points knocks them out of last place. It is crazy to me that we've seen so few chase cards all day and here it is, here it is. knocking Austin could, out of last place card petition. Yeah, could have could have walked in there just like danced into that like two point finish. Yeah. But. Oh man, Ben, here we go again. We have Stefan and Susie, another big last place competitor coming in with just two points so far uh, for the season. So they're also looking for like just a one point pack or less. If they can, if they can pull it off. So it's really, on. really, they need a zero though. Honestly, don't they? A zero would be really a, like I think what's required. Because Ariel Stormborn is sitting at two. At two, yeah. So, so they really want to see that V Star marker. Sadly, they don't have it right there. Let's see. Boom. Salad Energy. We have the Waylord, the Raichu. Oop. Toracat and Didi Marini score. So that's gonna knock him out anyway. The Ndidi, I guess a double Ndidi? Double Ndidi pack. Boom! And the Verizion. So everyone's favorite nine cent legendary card. Yeah. That's so. gonna be two points on the pack, four on the season for Stefan and Susie. So really close contest for last place for them. They put in a solid performance there. Don't think they're gonna walk away with it. Ben, we are like in the zone of last place people though right now because I believe sitting on the board right now in very last at 109th is Data Rage. Is Data Rage, who is up next. single point. They have pulled a zero pack and a one point pack. So Data has been playing it about as perfectly as you can. This is crazy. We're going through like sections here. We have like all the rookies for a while. I know, and now we're all, all the last, last places. places. I know. And it, uh, I always feel like at this point in the season, we really get into that big Steve situation because he seems yeah. to sit like in the middle of the bell curve. Yeah, he's been he's been playing a very nice even. Oh, Data Rage! 
bitch? What? No. Oh my gosh. Can she pull it off? Can she? We, we're looking for nothing in this pack. We, we want nothing for nothing, Data Rage. Nothing at all. Okay, here we go. Hello, Punny. The low oh my bunny. gosh, the, the Serena, Serena, the, the Rotom. Rotom. Uh, okay, looking the Dreepy. good. So far, so great. So, so far, far, so great. Can she do it? The Terrakion? Is that going to score? It, it does, does score. score. Oh, oh no. no. And. Oh, oh it's, it's a Lugia. What? I can't believe it. Oh my <laughs> oh, god. Data Rage is playing so perfect. Now she has two scoring cards here. Uh, oh. Well, minus one. So the, the V Star will cancel out the Terrakion for sure. How much is the regular base Lugia V worth? Honestly, it's not the worst play in the world. That's $13.17 for that Lugia V. 14 pack bringing Data Rage. A 15 point finish. Oh my gosh. Look, wow. I, we, know, we know Data, and I can I tell you that she is just, she was on the edge of her seat. For I know. I, I mean, literally with the name Data, it's like, who could be more invested in like a, a numbers based finale? I know. And and right up there, I mean the the freaking V Star marker. Either way, great pull for Data Rage. You know, if you want to play this card, it's extremely good for Very like good another play. month. Because this is the that that is like the Lugia V <clears throat> that is the non alt version right. of the competitive. Yeah, Lugia V Star. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it is it is extremely competitive if you're if you want to play Rage, but you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know you to play Pokemon cards, but if you do, we should we should play. You know. Which, by the way, if you want to play us in uh, play with us in some video games, there is a level on our Patreon where you can sign up and you can play uh, like Rocket League or Mario Super Strikers with us for like an hour each month. It is actually a hooting and holler. It is. Time. It's a lot of fun. We are also awful. We are so. bad. Patreon.com slash Gaming. Check it out. Link in the description down below. Oh, Ben, next up we have a bit of big old crowd favorite. It's Mots. Mots! Mots, who has played super consistent and is in, is in line for the uh, the triple the triple slots. He's got two points twice. Two points twice. So if he scores two points again, you know, it's two, two, two. Two, two, two. You know, that wins our other not to be made up yet prize. <laughs> the name, or the that's the number, my room number in college at my dorm was room 222. Wow. So the Ben's dorm room challenge. Yeah, there we go. Rock is pummeling for Mots. The regenerative energy, V-Guard energy. Let's see, can they close it out? We have the Altaria. That does not score. And, and the, the Incineroar. Incineroar. So, so just a single point. Just a single so. point. That's what Rach was looking for last, last. round. Yep, 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 yep. So. But. Uh, unfortunately, you were actually my dorm room neighbor wow. uh, and had to deal with, I mentioned earlier how I was an aquarist. I did have a large aquarium in my dorm room. Um, I just lied to my RA and told them that it was a 10 gallon. It was actually much bigger than that. They don't know. They don't know. And then yeah. it leaked all Who over the floor. Who can 10 gallons? I not know. me. All right, we have, uh, looks like two packs left on the day. Oh, Ben, now we're into like the crowd favorite section of the cards here, because now we have Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly uh, Lee. Uh, another two, two right here. So another another Ben's dorm room slot machine winner. I know, I here. know, I know. Very exciting stuff. The yeah. the potential is really limitless in this yes, game, isn't you know. it? <laughs> but there's no way for us to not come up with a way for you to I win. I want I want there to be so many ways for people to win different prizes. I know, know, I know. That's what it comes down to. We've invented the game just literally to find a way to it's like it's not like everybody gets like an award for participating. It's yeah. like everybody gets a different award through participating. Through participating, you know? <laughs> But, uh, you know, you, you just want to. We want more ways to win. So you yeah. know, we've got our we've got our gift cards, which I honestly don't know if we've actually been sending to people. We keep making the joke, but at some point we should send them. We should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <clears throat> it feels like it's become a real thing at this point in time. The clay doll and the, the Keldeo. Oh man, Jay's least favorite card. So two just points. Two points. Oh yeah. my gosh. So the, had we implemented the slot machine jackpot rules so of getting the same point value three times in a row. You would um, have. You would have done it, Kimberly Lee. You would have had a dorm room that smelled faintly of aquarium. Yeah, as it were. That's six points uh, on the season right there for Kimberly Lee, and uh, well done, Keldeo coming your way. Think Next up, Ben, another. Uh, oh, it's. Uh, this is the name I cannot say. <laughs> Ek Sko. Ek Sko, uh, coming in with 22 points on the season. So they've got a pretty solid. Uh, this is our final pack of the day, by the way. They've had a really good run so far. There are 22 points. Where does that land them right now? Let's see here. So. Oh, that might put them in the quality eighth place because they've been knocked down a peg by Jess. Wait a second. Where is Ek Sko showing? Right up there at on sixth. 
EK Sco, right there at six. EK right there at six. All right, so uh, that that said, they're gonna score points, which is gonna knock them. Maybe they do. Maybe they want like one point to put them at like twenty three. So when they get knocked down by everybody, they're looking good. You know what I mean? I said, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, ho, ho, ho! firing, finishing the game with the uh, dark teardrop energy. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. So far, no good. <clears throat> so far, no good. Nope. Oh, the pony does The pony too. Yeah. The Beldum does not. The Noibat, no. And, and the, the Arcanine. Arcanine. So just a four point pack there with the um, energy multiplier going to bring you to 29 on the season, which so far looks like it's going to be good enough for what, fifth? Wait, 29 seems like a jump. How'd you get to 29? Well, I'm sorry. Maybe I can't do math at all. They're at 22 plus four, so they're at 26 overall. There wow. we go, there we go. Okay, so I mean, at least the, I think a unique scoring position so far. We do still have uh, at least one episode's worth of packs still left to open. So everything isn't static yet. We've still got some fun stuff to go. What are the odds that we pull a Lugio alt art, alt art three times? There's no, there's, there's no way. It can't be. But it could, man. It could happen. I thought there was no way it would happen this time. I I, honestly, no the, this entire episode was made worth it entire, just by that one thing. That was, was that was pretty amazing. So congrats to the rookie of the year, Jess. Um, I don't think you obviously don't have a chance to win the whole thing, but you will probably come in second overall, and uh, I, I guess you also win the Olive Garden gift card. The today. Olive Garden, and not to mention the card and itself. And the card itself. The card itself, which is obviously, you know, a, a worth, worth... Uh, let's see if the price on it has changed. Let's do it. Let's, let's just do it. see. How would it be? TCG player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just, we're just... We're just... Lugia V. Um, alternate full art. What is the current market price? Listed median price is 212. Yeah. So it seems like it would have gone down. It seems like it's gone down. Gone down a little bit. A little bit. A little so bit. yeah, it, it so at printing as of the start of this game, it was worth more. Now it's like 200 or something. So you know. However, whatever. however, sometimes I do think this is another one of those where there's like a little bit of like a, like. The scarcity is already there, but then it's also like ten years from now. Right. Like I remember, I remember like in uh, like my high school years, going on eBay and like looking at first edition Charizards and be like, "But this is never going to be worth five hundred dollars." Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, that would have been money well spent. It turns if, out. If yeah. I had just used all four of my Petland paychecks, I would have been in business. You would have been in business. Yeah. Unfortunately, however, that is not what went down, and I didn't end up buying it. So I don't have it to this day, and I'm really sad about it. Me too. Me too. I wish you had a first to Charizard. I know. It would be cool. I would probably frame it and put it on my wall. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what we would do. Because I love framing things and putting them on walls. Yeah. Anyway, guys, as ever, if you would like to see us open a pack for you, there is still room left. However, the game is filling up pretty quickly. We do have a cap at 144 people. Yes, we do. And at present, not counting the rookies of the day, we have approximately 109 people uh, included in the game. So probably yeah. closer to 115 at this point. Yeah, 115, 116 after all those rookies added in there. Uh, if you'd like to check it out, <laughs> head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Uh, next month, we are going to be opening up packs from the Crown Zenith collection. Yes, we will. It will be a one-pack season, so it'll be a very fun and exciting month's worth of opening. Great then, season to be a rookie. It is a great season to be a rookie yeah. because you can you can score in last place next month, which is a great place to be in as well. Uh, also, there's lots of really cool artwork inside of the Crown Zenith collection. And then also, the following month, we will start opening packs from the uh, Scarlet and Violet collection. Yes. Scarlet and um, Violet base set. Base set. It's going to be super cool. Lots of new stuff going to be involved in that one. And that will be back to our three month uh, season format. So, again, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Be sure to go on over and check it out. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.